What's up, guys? Welcome to the live stream. Might be looking a little different. Let me know if you've noticed the difference in the comments or anything. But what up? We're live. I'm actually really liking the way the, the live stream is looking. Uh, if you're not watching this live, make sure you continue watching uh, because a lot of you listen to it not live, which I think is the coolest thing out there. So if you're one of those really cool people that missed the live stream but still listens to it, I uh, salute you. It's really awesome. I am logging into my Venmo and Streamlabs now. So if you want to drop a donation, guys, you can do it through uh, Super Chats, which is YouTube's version, but two things. It takes 30%, so that's why I offer Venmo. Or uh, Streamlabs it allows you to donate 100% of the income uh, to me, or I get 100% of it, which is a game changer. And then I'm going to close these blinds. The other cool thing about the Streamlabs doing it uh through Streamlabs or venmo is you can do it not live drop a donation which jonathan uh did jonathan sick name by the way dropped a hundred bomb literally yesterday no no not live nothing just dropped a hundred dollar donation dude thank you so much for that donation uh once again that was yesterday he did it not live which blows my mind and also kind of like it's such a random donation came out of nowhere it literally made my day so dude appreciate it and it wasn't even the amount it was just like what he wrote and just like the fact that i was on his mind not live when i like, guess you know say it was just a really cool cool thing he said uh how much funding are you missing for mount hood question mark great content as always keep evolving so he was wondering how how much money do I, we need to go back to hood because we were talking about going back to hood and i really wanted to do that but we aren't going to go back to hood because it was like about six hundred dollars to go back for a week because of the plane ticket and the rental car i would have had to get was coming out to be about uh 600 bucks for the week so we scheduled a trip to go to uh virginia to uh liberty snowflex i think is what it's called in virginia that's the trip we planned instead it's a snowflex ski resort it's open right now so you can snowboard on fake snow it's like carpet style thing that like i've never done it I'm so excited. So that's where we're going um, instead of going back to Hood. And that's where that $100 donation will be going to. So, dude, John, thank you so much. And once again, he dropped that not live, which is so insane. Um, but that being said, we got to give some love to the people that are live. And on the note of that trip to uh, Vermont, Kenny, who's in this live stream, is actually going with us, which is super cool, Kenny. Uh, I know I wanted to bring you to A Basin, but you didn't have a pass, so that wasn't possible. So I get to make it up to you by, by doing it this way. Uh, I'm so stoked. And he says, I'm not going to be able to make the live stream, but I got an epic local this year because of the discount they gave me last season. Yeah, dude, the discount's really sick. And the topic of this live stream is, what is the safer season pass to buy, Icon or Epic? And dude, I have a legit reason uh, and thing I want to get into, but let's get more people on this live stream before we get into it. The Oh, the, the we painted. That's the, it looks really good, I think. I don't blend in with the wall anymore. Yeah, right? I think I stand out a little bit better. Do you guys notice we painted this wall? Like, we literally do that right before the last stream. That's why I'm, like, a little bit uh, flat. Not flabbergasted. I'm, like, a little flustered. I was, like, Russian because we, we got the wall painted. It finally dried. I got to hang up the stuff, put the things there. Whew. We're here. We're live. What up, guys? What? Oh, it's, we would have been live for three minutes. I feel like it's been an hour. I'm joking. Oh, catch my breath. Uh, D Wizzle's here and L Stagger's here. What's up, guys? Uh, and then uh, Austin's here. What up, dude? And then R Stars are here. Is here, of course. R Star is gonna come ride with us on the twenty fifth while we're out in um, Vermont. It's gonna be really cool. So R Star, I'm excited to say hello to you and your dad. Tyler said, uh, "Is Epic giving discounts? I broke my collarbone at the very beginning of the season, so I didn't." get to ride Keystone at all. Tyler, that means you get an 80% discount. If you got zero days on your season pass, you're going to get 80% off your next year's season pass. You have to buy it before September, so I got to buy my season pass. Uh, I still haven't bought my Epic Pass yet, and I still haven't bought my Icon Pass. I got a lot of season passes to buy, and uh, yeah, we. I need to buy it. I spent a lot of money on some passes. <laughs> Jordan, what's up? Taylor's here. What is up? Dear Bobby, she goes, yay. I love her. Breezy, how we doing? Bobby's still painting, by the way. So we do not own this place, but we're big fans of making a place better, uh, leaving a place better 
than the, the way you found it. And at the end of the day, we shouldn't be moving anytime soon. And we need this place to, to look better. We've been here for a while. Bobby says a year. Bobby gave me a time. I got to get Bobby a house or a better place of living in a year's time frame. Year and a half. Almost two years. If you want to push it. I'll figure it out. Austin says, hey, uh, you guys know my favorite tree is uh, ill? I don't get it, Austin. I don't get it. Alex is here. How are we doing? And then Caden said, I passed my driver's test today. First try. Uh, I was a lot easier than I was thinking. Dude, Caden, I told you, dude, it's the easiest test you're ever going to take. You don't even have to study for it. I, I studied for it. I didn't study for mine. Derek, what up, dude? Sorry I'm not going back out to Hood, my man. But we will we'll live, for sure. Then Austin said, I'm buying a Snow Basin Icon Pass and probably three epic and probably three day epic to ride with Aaron at Park City. Dude, keep me posted on that trip, Austin. I'd love to go to Park City with you guys. I love Park City. Bobby loved Salt Lake, too, when we went. Loved it. She loved it. Our star says, hi, Bobby. Hi, I'm Bailey says, any mountain bike videos coming in the future? I need to get on the mountain bike and rip. Probably yes, because before the trip, so I leave the 24th for the snowboarding, the snowflex, and I have two days of snowboarding between then. And I need, I would say I need to make videos and we got some cool videos coming for you. We've been doing some stuff that's not snowboarding. But uh, yeah, we'll get on the mountain bike. I know you guys want mountain bike content. I know you like it. I like making it. I just got to do it. I've been handling, I've been doing so much on the back end of the channel. I don't think you guys know. I say it, but I don't think you guys truly know how much work I've been doing. Um, I was literally on the phone for two hours while painting and helping Bobby. Two hours getting a whole bunch of stuff settled today for the channel, for life to really make next season like better as well as the black the white logo on a black hat should be available now on my Teespring store. I'm actually going to check that. We're going to check the Evolution store right now. And I want to see if they're available cuz they should be available. Bobby's design new and Bobby's helping design new merch and um, you can now get face masks like like your everyday pandemic face mask. You can get those now. I'm not making any money off of those. The price of them, it's nine, they're $9. That's at cost, but it's got the Keep Evolving on it. It's pretty sick. Um, fanny packs are now available, as well as all the other t-shirts and stuff. And I don't see the hats just yet, but you can get Evolution merch for your dogs now, by the way. The Baby. Shadow and Shelby are going to get some Evolution Keep Evolving. It's this logo right here on the back of a dog. It's really cool. The dog's the dog outfit's sick too. It's got a hood. Um, I'm hyped. But uh, you can get baby clothes now, and you can get toddler. We had kids merch. We never had toddler merch, so toddler merch is now available. The white logo is not available yet. It's almost there, but we're having. And some of these are being reviewed or getting put together. But pop sockets are going to be available now. Uh, pins like like a like a legit like. The, the pins I get every time I go to a ski resort. So Evolution pins will be available. Um, possibly backpacks. Like, I'm doing stuff, guys. I'm trying to make make things possible. Uh, my new stickers. Uh, Bobby's hyped for some new stickers. All kinds of stuff. Snowboard yeah. Lifestyle said, just reserved a room in Silverthorne starting September 1st. Let's go. September 1st. Oh, you, oh, you're saying like to move out here. Let's go. I was like, wait, what are you going to do vacation wise on September 1st? But no, that makes sense. Let's go, dude. Living the dream. Congrats on getting a room up here. Moving up here is not easy. So congrats. Silverthorne is the best. Silverthorne is the best place to get a room too, though. Bobby is correct. Austin said, just buy fifth wheel for Bobby and we can meet all over the place. <laughs> He's saying I should get us a bigger RV. I don't know. Yeah. Jordan says, I'm buying a local mountain pass, maybe the Indy pass. Yeah, local mountain passes are not going to be a bad move this year. And I think it's 
we're 10 minutes in this live stream, maybe it's a good time to uh, talk, talk about it. So the reason, or the reason what pass I think is the safe pass, and the reason why I say buying a local mountain pass is not a bad move, is um, the security. So it's going to be very hard from what all of my current experience from, from riding around during the pandemic uh, for resorts to open up. And when they do open up, there's going to be a bunch of weird guidelines and all this stuff. So if you buy a local mountain pass and you have a small local mountain, it's more likely that they're going to be open and you're actually going to be able to ride them. But when I think about Epic and Icon, I think the better pass to buy, if you're on the fence, like, should I buy an Epic pass? Should I buy an Icon pass? Which one's going to be open? Where am I going to be able to snowboard more? Blah, blah, blah. I really think Icon's the way to go. Here is why, is Icon is a bunch of... Icon doesn't own all the resorts on the Icon Pass. A lot of them are standalone resorts. I, I think of like Mammoth, like Jackson Hole, a bunch of other other ones out there. Copper, I think, is owned by a couple. But like Copper right now is already open during the pandemic. You can go ride Copper. So they already have a, a head start on how to handle this situation, who to work with, all that stuff. Where Vale owns like all of their mountains. Like, I would say like what, like 90, 80, 90% of the mountains that are on the Epic Pass are actually owned by Vale. So I I think if anything, like Vale as a company is making a single decision as a company where with Icon, you might have like a, oh no, Copper is closed, but Mammoth is doing their own thing. And like, um, is, that, is that making sense? You know what I'm saying? Like there's more opportunity for a single resort to be doing its own thing where Epic's going to be like, yo, as a company, we're shutting down, we're doing this, kind of like they did. Um, so I think it's the safer route to go with Icon. Um, also, I got a, a little bit insider tip for you guys. If you live near Summit County, the rumor is that Keystone might not even open up at all because of employees. So they might, Keystone and Breck and a lot of Vail Mountains uh staff themselves with with what are with what are called j1s it's a workforce from peru that comes up and they actually fill up like 50 percent of like the job force force for keystone and breck and all these places so with right now the travel restrictions and all that stuff like they're not going to be able to come and work for Vail resorts like it's just a, not going to be a thing and so what could really happen is Breck and Kiso not being able to get fully staffed and not and if they're not going to be able to be staffed then they might have to only open up one resort take their full-time staff at Keystone move them to Breck and literally everyone that would be working at Breck or at Keystone will go to Breck and they'll only open up Breck I heard that might be a reality that's a that's a rumor going around right now not saying it's true just saying it's a rumor so you might be buying an epic pass but you might not be able to go to Keystone Tyler says, I'll go work at Keystone. That's the way to go. Is uh, There might be a lot of jobs available for you if you want to move up to the mountain town. A lot of employee housing will be open. And then our boy Matt, a.k.a. Peachy, just jumped on the live stream and dropped a huge donation, a $45 bomb on uh, Venmo, dude. Peachy, a.k.a. Matt, dude. Thank you so much for the love, dude. Time to get the donations going. It's payday and Friday tomorrow. Let's go. Matt, dude, I appreciate it. He's calling you guys out. He wants some donations uh, running in the chat, dude. I appreciate it, PG. Thank you for getting it started and dropping a 40 bomb. Uh, the donations, guys, does support the dream. It's not only how I'm able to do this for a living, but it's how I'm able to fund trips like the uh, uh, Virginia trip that's coming up, as well as we might be doing another Copper Day. Also, just bringing you guys daily snowboard content. So thank you so much for the donation, Matt. You're the man. And then I'm behind in the chat now because I just rambled like hardcore. Epic Locals uh, this season, Icon next season. Let's go, Adam. Dwizzle says, I'm probably getting the Sluxenberg Super Ski Pass since I'm going to be, um, I'm going to go to Austria this season. Dude, that sounds so cool, snowboarding in Austria. Um, Ethan, who's at snowboard camp, actually lived in Austria for a couple years and and got really good at snowboarding out there. That dude was killing it. He was throwing sevens. Bailey says, Tristel Winter Park has a crazy bike park. Most of the fun I've had in the summer. Highly recommend it. 
Dude, they do have a sick looking bike park. It just looks so terrifying to me. I'm not that good at, mo at mountain biking. It's like, I don't want to show up and spend all this money and not be that like, good at it. Or like, be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I should still do trails. What are my plans next season, Derek? It's kind of vague. I will be buying full Epic, full Icon. We're going to um, Jackson. Definitely going to Utah to snowboard more. I'm making Montana uh, to do like a, a hit list state. I really want to hit Montana. I really like to snowboard in Washington. Bobby wants to go to Big Sky. Um, I if I go to if I go to Tahoe again, I won't be doing Heavenly Cork with North Star. I'd probably be doing Squaw Boreal. I think Boreal is it the one. All of the, the non-icon mountains at Tahoe. And then, words are hard. End of the season, like April-ish, we'll head down to Mammoth, ride Mammoth a bunch, and then go from ripping in Mammoth up to Timberline and do Hood again. I was not going to lie, Bobby taste on merch is on point. Ooh. Told you. Can I get that coffee? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I was making coffee. I didn't have time to finish making it. And I don't want the live stream yawns to happen. To my... Touch my face a lot today. Jordan says, uh, I'm not a dad, therefore I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait a fanny pack. Or a, uh, so I can't, I didn't even say I can't rock a fanny pack or a pop socket with sandals. Daddy, what? What? Hey, Roman. Oh, no way. Go open it. Let's open your mommy's sister. Yeah, tell mommy about it. <laughs> Randall, what's up? Um, yeah, dude, pop sockets will be cool. Snowboard Life said, Lifestyle says, when do you think Keystone will open? Hopefully they open. That. This is important. And if they do open... Um, I, they were supposed to open in September. They were calling at the beginning of this last season. They were saying September. We had the the Keystone versus uh, Icon or Keystone versus Apple Basin first to open battle. You got something in your eye? He poked his eye, I think. The Keystone versus Arapaho Basin first to open battle was so awesome. But I think they're just going to be trying to figure out how to open with COVID this year. Better? Uh, I thought it was going to be hotter than what it was. Stoke Shredder, what up, dude? Jordan said, no local mountains are on either Epic or Icon Pass, so therefore no reason to buy either of them. Sorry about that, Jordan. Super Passes are pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. The amount of available skiing and snowboarding you get for the price you pay is incredible. And... Because I'm a snowboarder that takes advantage of it, like this pass is like incredible. You're gonna tell me if for a thousand dollars I can go to sixty three resorts and I'm probably gonna go to thirty of those resorts. I'm down. Also, we're at a hundred and seventy eight days right now so far. I would love to hit two hundred days this season. I just have no idea how to do it. Randall says, after fifty years of skiing, I'm going to start snowboarding this season. Let's go, Randall. Uh, my Arbor Formula Snowboard is going to be delivered tomorrow. Dude, congrats on the fresh board, too. You're going to love snowboarding. Just know the first couple times you do it, it's going to be pretty tough. Um, but once you learn how to do it, which, honestly, if you can, Randall, take a lesson because it will shortcut that process of learning. What do you need help with, my dude? Okay, I got it. Let me see. You want this back on? Oh, you need scissors. Here, I got you. You don't need scissors. Here, I did it. Daddy did it already. Whoa, there you go. Okay. All right, guys. This is how our day is gone today. Okay, I'll put this. I'll put back the sticker here. Mom's helping out. He's had 
he's had a good day, but I think we started the day off a little strong. We went, like literally he woke up and we went right to activities and then he just kind of hasn't, he did take a nap, but hasn't really got to catch up yet. Want to see? Hashtag little dude life. Your natural neutrality said in Switzerland, the certified snowboard instructors can get a countrywide season pass for about 800. It's pure gold. That's sick. $800 for a country ride season pass. I would lose my mind. Go anywhere you wanted. Man, that's cool. There you go. Stop being whiny. You ruined my. Bro, did you see the video I sent you yet? Austin, I have not seen the video. I didn't know you sent me a video. I will I will look into that, Austin. I don't think I saw the video. And Derek says, if resorts go crazy in Colorado, bro, come back to Oregon. I'll hook you up for a week. Dude, Derek, I'm down. Oh, I want to do Oregon. I, w I do want to do Oregon for a week. Uh, Derek and hit like Snowball, hit Meadows. All those resorts looked awesome. Um, and then Tyler says, I'm from Texas and I would love to move up there. Dude, doing the uh, employee housing route on a, on a year where they're going to have a hard time getting employees will be the way to go. Buddy, I need you to relax. It's okay. You can chill. Austin, dude, with his notorious $2 super chat, dude. Thank you, Austin, so much. Just that simple $2. Appreciate it, bro. And then Stoke Shredder says, does anyone know a good pair of goggles with changeable lenses? Question mark. I bought a cheap pair, but after getting stuck in deep pow in a heavy snowstorm due to my, my, due to my goggles not being fit for bad weather. Ooh, Stoke Dog. I walk, I rock Outdoor Master Goggles. They're about $40. I think they're super sick and I haven't had any issues with them. That being said, I'm working with Outdoor Master and we're coming out with a whole new project this winter. I can't talk, I can't talk much about it, but you can snag the Outdoor Masters. They're linked in the description. Not on this one because I haven't been able to put in. Go get Roman scissors. Go get them. Go where? Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. So I haven't been able to. I didn't. I wasn't able to put my description in yet. So none of my links are in my description. But uh, if you go to any other video or soon to be this one, I'll get that the links in the description. They're called Outdoor Master Goggles. Actually, I'll just throw. I'll throw the link in right now. Not in the description. I'm gonna put the link in the the chat for you. Thanks, babe. These goggles right here I've rocked for the last two seasons. They're $40 and they're incredible. And I highly recommend anyone looking for goggles, snag them. Or if you want to wait, the next project is going to be coming out soon. It's going to be a little more pricey than $40, but they're going to be different cigar goggles, I believe. Anyways, I can't I'm talking too much. I can't say much about the, the more is coming. So if you want to wait, wait. If you don't, send it. Is Jackson independent now? So Jackson has always been independent, but they um, were doing, they, they were allowing unlimited access through Icon and the, the locals in Jackson hated the unlimited access. So they limited the access to Jackson to five days. Oh my gosh. 100% Austin, Mammoth next spring. This is how it goes, Austin. Mammoth, Disneyland, up to uh hood i gotta take roman to disneyland it's like a dream of mine is to take my little kid to disneyland slash world uh -huh. all right sly fishing's in the house what up dude i'm good bro how are you tom stoked stoked or matthew lindley what up dude my boy matthew's in the chat he said stoked shredder 420 best goggles with magnetic lenses or changeable lenses our outdoor masters, they're cheap and worth it. Just like $300. They're just like $300 goggles. Matthew's not wrong. How we doing, Matthew? Dude, Jonathan. How we doing, man? Jonathan's in the chat. And then grandma says hi. Okay. Tyler says, I bought the Keystone local pass 
last year and broke my collarbone on my very first run of the season. I remember you writing me, Tyler. That's such a bummer, man. I am so sorry. Roman, Daddy's doing the talking thing. Man, we do this all the time. Daddy sits there and he talks to all of his friends. Yeah, you remember. What do you want? I know, you've kind of been on one. What if you get a mama's phone? Can you get on mama's phone? Thank you for being patient with me today on this live stream, guys. It's, uh, sometimes it's how it goes. And then, oh, we had a super chat from Jordan. Dude, Jordan, thanks for the $2 donation, bro. You're the man. Just bought my season pass powder for days. Let's go. I'm so, honestly, I've been riding spring slushy snow for so long that I'm ready for some powder. I'm also ready for some just hard corduroy. Groomed run sound amazing i'm not gonna lie we would get a little bit at hood like some groomed runs but it's it's still soft snow like i want like true snow ripping a turn Ugh, sounds sick phil says semi io or smith io sorry uh have great anti-fog and great interchangeable lenses for any type of light they are incredible goggles I've had a pair of Smith, and I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty small. They're pretty solid. R star throwing out the dono hype. I love it. Uh, Austin said, "Bro, you gotta do a, a goggle calendar or something so you can keep up with all the trips or a Google calendar." There, bro, you gotta do a Google calendar or something so I can keep up with all the trips you're. You are making in the there this winter, dude. That's not a bad idea. The crazy thing about the trips I make is I like I know like in my head I'm like I want to do these trips, and then and all of a sudden it's just like, I'll be like, hey, today we should go to, go to Utah. I'm like, like today? She's like, yeah, we drive today and tomorrow we're there. And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. Or like the Vermont trip, or like when I went to like, they're so sporadic. I have I don't have like legit dates written out, but maybe we'll do that this year. It's like literally write out right out of calendar but at the end of the day too it's kind of fun being sporadic and just doing things at a whim or like taking off whenever you want it's really cool Derek said uh hell yeah bro just hit me up whenever you uh plan to make it out Mount Hood in the winter is just as good as in the summer love it dude I'm excited honestly to go out to Hood in this in the winter because I, I feel like if I do the winter once then then it's good and then I can continue going in the summer but like I have that ability like the knowledge of like, yeah, I've been out here in the winter. It's pretty sick. I like this, blah, 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 blah. Phil, it's okay that you're a skier. We still like you. Bailey says, no joke. I was watching uh, Django Unchained and the scene looked familiar. It was Jackson Hole in the background. What? I didn't know that. That's so sick. I know that Jackson Hole was in uh, Django Unchained. Uh, that movie's awesome, by the way. I really, really like that movie. R-Star dropping more dono hype. Thanks, R-Star, for the donation hype. And Tyler says, no way, Bailey. Glass forward. I watched that movie last night. Oh, that's funny. I was watching. Must be on TV or something. Taylor says, I want to get a park board, but I have no idea what I'm looking for, LOL. Any advice on that? I should go for a normal stance or some, a smaller stance. All right, Taylor. Should I grab it? Who's that? I knocked over the thing. Taylor, I have a I have a board in mind. I'll be right back, guys. Don't don't leave the live stream. Yep. Yep. Ugh. All right. This is a Burton. Which one is this? Oh man, I can't think of the name. Mm. Do you remember the name of the Burton board? It doesn't say it. No. Oh, socialite, it's right there. This is a Burton socialite 151. 
and it's if I remember the it's flat to rocker and I highly I like and kind of recommend flat to rocker for intro to park slash like intro to snowboarding I rocked it for the longest time because I rocked the K2 worldwide weapon had the same shape flat camber at, at the tip and tail it's a twin tip and the cool thing with this snowboard is it's going to feel really great when you're on a box or a rail. It's going to feel really great on a, on smaller jumps, super stable, and it's pretty flexy. In no way, shape, or form am I saying, Taylor, buy this board from me, but this female snowboard is for sale. I am selling that. So if you are interested in it or you want to talk more about snowboards, Taylor, you can DM me on Instagram and I can answer that for you. However, I'm going to make a video, I think, this year where I ride that snowboard. But if you take it off my hands or if someone takes it off my hands before then, I'll just have to get a different girl snowboard. But I want to make a video where I... Why don't you ride my snowboard, you loser? I could ride. Bobby has a snowboard she's never taken a run on. But I, I, if you guys are looking for like an intro to park board, I like flat to camber. So flat in between the feet and cambers out the tails. I know, I just think that's kind of the nicer route for um, like park, like getting into park. It's also gonna rip around all mountain. And then dude, Tyler Fryer, Fryer, dude, thank you so much for this $7 on Venmo, dropped the Venmo donation and literally just put a snowboarder. Dude, Tyler, thank you so much for the donation, dude. Throwing the snowboard dude out there. By the way, uh, my brother's name is Tyler. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, oh, and then you said, any advice on that? Should I go for a normal stance or a smaller stance? Go normal. And, and when you're putting your feet in the board, what stance, whatever you could squat, like if you were going to get weight on you and do a squat, that's where you should put your bindings on your snowboard. And then, uh, oh, I'm falling way behind this chat, by the way. Uh, Stoke Shredder said, don't forget, hit the like button. He's not wrong, guys. Don't forget that. Uh, Bailey says, uh, that's awesome that you can see the runs if you look closely. Uh, they're in the mountain. No way. I'll have to look, to look into that. What movie is that? Uh, Django Unchained. Never seen it. You've seen it. It's the Wild West movie with a lot of killing in it. It's like, pretty no, brutal. We did not watch that. Okay. Copper is... Uh, or Copper's groomers are too fast. I don't know. I'm not the biggest Copper fan. I'm kind of a Copper hater when it comes to the runs. I like Copper for the park. Jonathan says, Yo, Blenders have some nice goggles with magnetic lenses. I've never even heard of Blenders. Daniel says, I went to the ski shop to mount the mono ski, and they said... Uh, they haven't had someone bring one in in 30 years. <laughs> Daniel, let's go. The GNU Headspace is an Amazon park board. The GNU board is... I think girls could ride the GNU board. I think it's more oriented towards men. I'll have to check it out. I should get a smaller board than my beater board or some some same size. I've been so many different things when I look it up. All right, Taylor, I have a video. I'm going to link it right now. Uh, where do I want to go for this? Okay. The way you want to find out what snowboard you should get, you got to look up a snowboard size chart. I link one in the bottom of this video, but also I talk about purchasing a new snowboard in this video. So if you're, if you want Taylor, if you're working and you got some time on your hand, check out this video. Hopefully it can help you when it comes to looking up snowboards and stuff. It's actually an older video of mine, but your snowboard size should be based off your weight primarily and then goes a little bit off your height but you're going off your weight when it comes to the uh, snowboard size so um 
you can check that video out if you're having a hard time picking a snowboard that fits your right size. When it comes to park riding, I would recommend getting like, get a snowboard your normal size. Like you don't need to go get a super tiny snowboard because you're going to be riding park because that's really going to hinder your your jumps. Like I've actually been riding a snowboard that's my ideal snowboard size. I think is like a 148, 149, but my um, my evolution board is a 151. It's a little bigger, but I still think it rips in the park. So um, what you won't want to be doing is be a, if your if your normal size is a 156, you don't want to be riding a 147. Like it just doesn't it just doesn't make sense. I totally lost my spot, by the way. And where it was. Give me one second. There I am. Sorry about that. Sometimes I get lost. Osvaldo's in the house. What's up, dude? He says, yo, what up, everyone? So what's going on with the Epic vs. Icon? Ooh, Osvaldo bringing up the main question again. All right. What I was saying is it's probably would be safer to get an Icon Pass versus an Epic Pass. Reason why is a lot of the Icon Mountains are individually owned slash like not on these mega corporation like Halvea Resorts is literally one mega corporation that owns all these resorts. So... What what Vail does at one resort, it's gonna have to do at all its resorts. So if Vail needs to shut down Brett Keystone, all this stuff because of COVID, there could be a chance that all the Vail resorts might have to shut down because they're a big major corporation. As well as, um, I know that Breck and Keystone run off the J1 program, and right now J1s can't come to the United States, which is like 50% of their workforce. So there's a rumor going around that Keystone might not even open up this winter. So. I might just be throwing mad rumors around right now, but at the end of the day, I'd rather kind of give you guys a heads up and be wrong than you guys just totally, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be spending rumors around. Someone else told you that. You didn't make that up. Right? I, yeah, someone else told me that. I've heard it twice. I've heard it from two different people up here, and that, to me, like the stuff I hear at the resorts, is normally pretty accurate when I hear it from one source and then I hear it from a totally different source somewhere else. I'm like, ooh, like but this is actually getting around the county them. pretty good. What'd you say? And those sources don't know each other. Yeah, and the sources don't know each other. So it's not like well, if my friend told my other friend, it's like, no, like these are, you don't know this person, you don't know this person. You both said that? Oof. My, eyes, my eyebrows just went up a little bit. Uh, Tommy says, what up, Tommy, by the way? How we doing, dude? Yeah. Says, Tommy, congrats on getting your eyes done. Uh, Tommy just got LASIK eye surgery, which is insane. The dude could, couldn't could read from this close up to now he knows his left and his right, which is so nice that I can game with him and him actually know which direction where everyone is. And he says, what up? Are you most, or what are you most excited about with the future of your channel? Ooh, the future of the channel. What am I most excited about? Roman. I wouldn't even say Roman. It took me a while before Roman. What I think I'm most excited about for the future of the channel. You want your juice? Uh -huh. Mommy, can you help him with his oh juice? No, Daddy have any juice. Daddy can't help. Mommy's going to help with the juice. No, Daddy have any juice. You want Daddy to help with the juice? Uh -huh. Okay, Daddy will help with the juice. But what do you say? Help, please. getting bossier uh i think just traveling honestly i think going to other new places and doing more stuff is like what i'm most excited about Here. i will go get you juice give me a second guys i got it i got it, I got it. Little dude is losing it. Sorry, guys. All right, Tyler, dude. Thank you so much for the donation on uh, YouTube. You dropped a super chat donation, dude. $3. I appreciate it so much. How much is a copper lift ticket right now? Okay, so you can do copper, a group lesson at copper. So all of your tickets are a lesson. So you're not buying a good day pass like and doing whatever you want. You're showing up for a group. A group lesson is about $90. 
uh, or you can do a, um, what's it called? A private lesson for $300 and then you can add a friend for a hundred bucks. So that's what me and Tommy did. We spent 400 bucks, but both of us went and we had a private instructor who we made film the whole day. But if you want to go ride copper for just one day, you'll be in a group lesson. So you'll be hanging out with your group. It's going to be uh, $190. Why don't you go put some clothes on and then daddy will hold you. Okay? Ask, go ask mama to help you put some clothes on and then daddy will hold you. Okay? He has shorts right here. Just want to throw those on him. Jose Bautista, what up, dude? Sometimes, so... Mommy's gonna put your clothes on so you can get on the live stream. Sometimes little people, it's hard being small. I don't know if you guys know that. Being a tiny human is not, I'm five, six, I've struggled with my whole life. Not being a very big person is it's a tough life. Roman's having one of those days. Oh, you gotta put these pants on and then you can come up here. Oh, I'm just putting the pants on. I know, dude. You're sad? Well, here, Daddy's gonna hold you and then you don't have to be sad no more. Okay. Okay, go. The blanket. You got your blanket right here. I know, it's hard. You wanna watch the Daddy Ocean video? Bobby's trying to paint. She's just running around like it. Hi. Mommy's in Daddy Ocean video. Okay. I see it right there. Mom's gonna put on her phone though, because we gotta use this to we gotta read off of this. Okay. Shh, it's okay. Oh, there we go. Daddy, Daddy Ocean video is right here. Daddy Ocean video. He needs his water. Oh man. Okay. He needs his water. <laughs> Uh, PG said, told a buddy about Outdoor Masters and he got them and two extra lenses and he loves them, says they work awesome. Let's go, Peachy. I, I, like I said, Outdoor Masters are fire, I'm not gonna lie. Or if you want any of my snowboard gear, it's all linked in the description, by the way. Jordan said, uh, you should hit Mount Bachelor in Oregon. It's over 4,000 acres and 38 uh, feet of vertical. It's the biggest ski resort you've have ever or you've ever heard of. Is it bigger? Is Mount Bachelor bigger than um, Whistler? Because Whistler is massive. But uh, Jordan definitely will hit Mount Bachelor if we go out to um, Oregon and ride during the winter. Mount Bachelor is on Icon too. Let's go. Osvaldo says park is lame. Oh come on, Osvaldo. The park's not lame. Daniel says, loved, uh, Loveland also just announced a great deal with, uh, where there is, there are less than 130 days open next season. You get money back. Oh, wow. Let's go. Cool. I was actually thinking maybe I should snag a Loveland season pass because of like the mega resorts getting choked up or having issues. So like kind of on my mind. And then, uh, Big Gucci City 13 says, Mount Hood was epic content. Keep it going. Stoked that you guys liked the Mount Hood content that much. Uh, it was so fun going out there. It was like a dream of mine, and I couldn't. It went, everything went perfect, so I'm so happy about it. So we're going to live out there all next summer? E Evan says, yeah, we'll be out there all next summer, babe. Oh, yeah, just live out there? Just live out in Hood in our camper. Uh, Evan says, I know I'm not the first to ask, but what is it looking like? <laughs> for riding in Colorado this year. Right now, honestly, I don't have too much information on it. You have your dump truck. The dump truck is in this video, don't worry. Shh. Roman's having one, guys, sorry. Um, I don't have the full answers for what Colorado is gonna look like this year, but I will be making a video on what snowboarding during the pandemic may look like. So that video will be coming. Um, 
Is it is it okay to do a go ahead and plan a trip? Oh, I see. I don't know. I like to say go ahead and plan a trip, but I even heard like some resorts, if you don't have a season pass, you can't come snowboard there on the weekend. Like only season pass riders could ride on the weekend. And I think a lot of that type of stuff is going to happen. But also in Australia, a lot of the Vail owned mountains or one of the Vail owned mountains had to get shut down. I don't, it, it, it's all over the place. I heard a rumor that Tommy Bennett doesn't even like star, uh, star, starbursts. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Check the letter from Vale and Aspen CEO. Ooh, I gotta look into those. Uh, what's my Venmo snowboard life? My Venmo is it? It's in the pinned. So if you go to the that blue line in the chat, it's that pinned comment. But I'm going to copy and paste it for you. If anyone wants to drop a donation on Venmo, I get 100% of that donation. You know what that is. That's a snowboard. Um, I get 100% of the donation if you do it through Venmo or Streamlabs. Where if you do a super chat, YouTube takes 30% of those donations. So that's why people have been dropping Venmo donations. Uh, and people have been dropping them not live, which is so incredible. And I still give you guys shout outs. So thank you to all the, the not live donations too. Those are so awesome. Do, 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 do. Cameron says, I got the icon pass for 400 because I'm a college student. Dude, the college students get hooked up with icon passes. Yay. The other thing that's cool about that is you're right next to, if you go to CU, you're right next to Eldora, which is like one of the coolest, like right next to college resorts you can have. They build a sick park. Evan says, what's the most overrated ski resort you've been to? Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I would highly say Keystone. I think Keystone, and not because locals hype up Keystone, but because Keystone hypes up Keystone as like this insane family, like bring your family here. We have the kids, Topia, Keystone's all this family, and they don't have, they have one green run. Like Keystone's not a friendly family mountain, and for some reason that's the resort they want to be a family mountain. So I would think Keystone's overrated for sure. Uh, Austin says, I'm going to get the ride twin pig 156 wide this year. All right, Austin, get rid of that toe hang, dude. Halsbado says, I hope that that's not true. My pass was the Keystone Breck pass. Yeah, Halsbado, dude, I hope that's not true at all. Peachy says, uh, was your brother Ben the number one camera person for the channel? I hope you all find a camera person for uh, with the same passion for the sport as you do. That's the thing right now, Peachy, for you saying that. Like, that's the hardest thing right now is finding a cameraman that wants to snowboard as much as I do. Like, my brother showed up during the, when we started the channel and helped film all of the videos. And I'm super thankful for my little brother. He's the reason why this is even here today. But he realized he didn't like snowboarding every single day. And it really took a toll on him. And, and so he, like, doesn't snowboard all the time anymore. Um, but... Same thing happened with Daniel. Daniel helped with the channel after that, but Daniel doesn't want to snowboard every well, single day either. So to find somebody that wants to snowboard as much as I do, but just film the whole time and not be in front of the camera and not worry about their own progression and just really make the channel possible is actually very hard to find. But I am truly looking for a full-time filmer. Um, I don't know what I can pay at the moment because financial, because of COVID, finance is all, all over the place. But... I really think the channel would take off if we can get a full-time filmer slash like full-time editor. Thankfully, going into this season, we have Benton, Tommy, Michael, the ski doctor, the crew that we built this season and we rode with this season are so legit and so so helpful and willing to help out with the filming and everything. But I, I always have to trade like with Benton and Tommy, it's like, yo, I film you, then you film me, then I film you. I don't want to film another snowboard run ideally ever again i'd like to just show up and always snowboard and be filmed that way i can continue to progress that way i can always be in front of the camera but um it's honestly harder said than done to find someone that wants to film not take the spotlight be willing to be available every single day and travel the world it's not that easy 
Uh, ACBC, what's up? From Austin, Texas. Austin said, I did a deep dive the other day on the conditions for the ski industry with the icon and Epic. That's a mess of super heavy stuff. Money talks. Do research. Ooh, wow. Sounds, sounds crazy, Austin. Dude, Roman's going to shred. Don't you worry. He was ripping his Strider bike right now. He's so good on that thing. It's it's kind of scary. Jordan says, I frankly hate that Vero is buying all the mountains. One company shouldn't own as much of the industry. I don't know. Isn't there like monopoly rules? I know they can't buy any more in Colorado. Tyler says, what are, you, what are all the going a bit? We are all going to cherish these Roman moments. Uh, years later when we rewatch the vlogs right mm -hmm. tyler dude that makes me hyped i know i'm going to cherish the roman moments um he's going to grow up right in front of all of our eyes at the same time i really don't want to abuse roman in the sense i mean like when we do family activities obviously roman's the cutest part and i like to film him and stuff but so many people i feel like use their kids to make money on youtube and that kind of puts a really bad taste in my mouth i'm not a big fan of that but I think this channel is primarily me doing stuff and it's my like a channel about me then like putting Roman in as an like a, an add-on I think is you. Like, you know what I'm saying like he's a, he's, a, he's his own person just because I make YouTube videos doesn't mean YouTube uh, Roman needs a YouTube channel and he needs to make videos and all that stuff like I don't know he does, like watching himself. He does love watching he's watching he was watching himself um, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Look. Oh. He does love watching the YouTube videos that he's in so much. He, he like, always is, like, he says, like, Roman golf ball, like, Roman ocean. Like, it's like, okay, dude, we'll put your video on. Yeah, Daniel's a huge uh, fan of supporting small independent ski areas. Not necessarily the Monarch Pass gets you access more mountains than the icon, but not epic. Oh yeah, the the monarch season pass is a pretty sick deal. What? That's a, those are logs. My cat says hi to everyone. What up, kitty? Austin says, being a tiny human, my wife is like five two, and I'm like six two, and I was tripping out about how weird it is. Or it would be able to not be able to see stuff on the top of the fridge. Yeah, I don't know what the top of the fridge looks like. I like climb up there sometimes and I'm like, oh, get me a rag. This is gross. <laughs> uh, is that what happened? So Stokeshire says, look at the bright side. You can get jacked easier than someone who's six foot. Is that, is that true? Cat, my man. What up, dude? Also enjoyed Mount Hood content. Five out of five. Thanks, Austin. Jordan says, stuff like Powder Alliance and Mountain Collective Sorry. let you ride a bunch of mountains even if they're independently owned, though. Yeah, there's a lot of sick passes out there that aren't just these epic uh, mountains. The best riders are park riders? I would... Yes and no. I think it goes both ways. I think you need to ride a lot of the mountain and you need to ride a lot of the park to become an all-around sick rider. Sometimes people ride just park, but then they go on ride the actual mountain and they kind of struggle. I honestly think if you want to be a great snowboarder, you have to do both. That's why I like to do both too. Uh, Austin says, I'm going to drive a... I'm going to drop a heavy Apple Pay after the house sells. Let's go, Austin. Dude, you're the man. Austin's so sick. He'll just literally send me an Apple Pay and just be like, I got you, dude. And I'm like, dude, that like you're so freaking generous and kind, man. Austin's the true legend. No. He's also not. the He was the camp Daddy, the camp dad, the Daddy, camp chef. Daddy, he said not. call him Poppy. Daddy, yes, no. well, I got a snack for you right here. Look. Ooh, cheese. You have an H or he loves guacamole. No, it's not. That is snack. Roman, just eat that. Tyler says, 
If I move to Keystone, I will be your filmer. Let's go, Tyler. I'm down. I need one. Austin says, will you bring up the camera? We haven't had that in a second, but Benton just called us while we were live. Come on, Benton. You know these things. Uh, I'm going to give him so much crap after this live stream. So Benton's coming with me to Virginia to go to the Snowflex Resort. I talked him into it because I needed someone to go with to like lower costs and everything. Also, I needed a cameraman. Also, Benton's sick and I haven't seen him in months. And so uh, now that he's going, he's so hyped and he like calls me every single day. He's like back to normal Benton. So uh, he'll probably be interrupting a lot more live streams. I'll say, we, uh, you will bring up the cameraman conversation again. I'm open to negotiations, bro. And no one wants to see me on the camera. Money, spotlight. Austin, dude, that might be the absolute marriage, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually. I just, I can't afford you, Austin. <laughs> I wish I could. Also, to pay you to travel but is a lot more expensive because you got to bring the whole family. <laughs> Uh, Bailey, dude, thank you for yeah. the five dollar oh. Venmo, dude. Uh oh, I got you. Oh. Daddy. Yeah. Here. <laughs> thank you for the. Hey. <laughs> thank you so much for the five dollar donation on Venmo, man. You, I appreciate it so much. It says if you take a mountain bike lesson, it will help you out a lot with confidence. I started this summer took a lesson and did my first uh, black at Winter Park last week, just saying I watched the crap out of a bike park content. Uh, just want to share my passion and not shut up about it. Let's go. That's not a bad idea. I never thought about taking a bike lesson. How much, Bailey, did the bike lesson cost? And you, did you take it at Winter Park? Because that could be really cool. It could be really fun content as well. Um, taking a bike lesson. Ooh. Cause just like snowboarding and like i'm like taking on this mountain bike thing on my own uh so maybe i should like take a lesson i'm not i've never been one for lessons even though i i will i will recommend you guys if you're getting into snowboarding to take a lesson because dude shortcuts are nice and not having to eat it is fun bailey dude thanks for the five dollar donation and the sick advice that's not a bad idea there's still a lot of mountain biking time left uh we're still just kind of chasing snow though i i like i really like snowboarding uh, Jordan says, I think it's okay to have your kids on the channel as long as they aren't the focus unless uh, they want that. 100%, Jordan. LPW says, Icon and Epic have been my biggest stresses right now. Just getting out of college and moving to Colorado Springs. That's where I'm from, dude, in October. Can't decide which level of Epic or Icon I pass to get. I would say get the icon base so the 600 dollars icon pass i think you won't be um upset with that purchase at all because you can do winter park you can do eldora you can do copper uh and you can do five day five days at a basin i think that's if you bought that pass dude you'd be stoked our star says i can't wait to shred snowflakes even though i don't really know what the texture of the surface is dude our star i feel the same same way as you. I have no idea what's going on. And then Colton says, does Tommy have a GT GTI car? Just got one and is wondering how it is in the snow from what I'm from when I come up to Keystone. I, I honestly don't know what Tommy's car is. I'm not a car guy at all. Like cars. Uh, but I know you can DM Tommy about it on Instagram and he'll write you back right away. Also, uh, Tommy drives his little car around even in the deepest of snowstorms. So... Jordan says, Family Yo 5 is a bad example of a uh, YouTube channel with your kids. The pranks were basically child abuse. I actually know exactly what you're talking about, Jordan. Austin says, I'm a bring, I'm a, uh, bro, I'm a be, I'm gonna get serious about this filmer thing. I'm texting you after this. I'm cheaper than you think. All right, Austin. Oh, I'm getting excited. <laughs> Austin's the man. I, I'm not even the, I'm not even like freaking out about just filming with you, dude. I'm freaking out about just hanging out with you all the time, dude. It's gonna be so fun. Zachary says favorite restaurant in Summit County. Mine is Arapahoe Cafe. Ooh, dude, 
Everyone loves Rappo Cafe. Let's be real. I would say I really like GM Petros and Breck. It's a pizza place. I mess with GM Petros uh, a lot. What else is really good? Downstairs, downstairs, Eric has the best sweet potato fries. They have some pretty solid wings, too. Fried Ollie's is really good. Oh, Bailey dropped a donation on YouTube, a super chat. Let's go, dude. Thank you for the also the super chat, man. It says, so I did my mountain bike lesson at Winter Park. They only do private lessons, and it was 160 for three hours, I think. Snowmass has a group lesson for 100, I think. Oof. 160 for only three hours? 160 makes sense to me for private, but for only three hours is like, man. But you got results, which makes it totally worth it. 160 is steep, though. Make your brother teach you. Stoke Shredder says, but unfortunately, I've never snow. It never snows in Belgium, and we and when it does, it just melts away immediately. That's how Colorado Springs is. It finally snows in Colorado Springs and it melts immediately. Uh, we were just looking at their ski resort. Oh yeah, there's a ski resort in Colorado Springs. It was called the Broadmoor Hotel, the Broadmoor Resort. Um, you can still see it on the bottom of uh, Cheyenne Mountain. I want. I, I always wanted to buy that and put it in a park. I told Bobby we should go hike it and like look at the I'll hike it. the terrain. Ooh, that could be a fun video, hiking an abandoned ski resort. I don't even know if they would let us on the property. Probably not, but you're really not one to break the rules behind Yeah, um, Bobby's a rule breaker, though. She makes me do a bunch of stuff I'm uncomfortable with. <laughs> like, paint my walls. Stop it! Stop. I hate painting so much. It you looks so much better, that? though. This wall looks so much better. Oh, I, don't, I haven't even had my light on. Let's see how this looks. I just elbowed him in the head. What's that, Daddy? What is it? What's oh, that? that's an oven. Yeah. What's that, Daddy? PG said, Jordan Daddy, family of five that? was a brutal what's to that, watch. Daddy? I saw the highlights on Philip DeFranco show, but still gross. PG, dude, I know you watch Philip DeFranco. Pff, I've been following that, Philip Daddy? DeFranco for years. What's that? What's that, Daddy? That's a rug. I've been watching Philip DeFranco for easily 10 years, probably 11. No, like a, like 12 years. I've been watching Philip DeFranco for like 12 years. That's so sick, Peachy. That's where I get all my news. Uh, Drew, how are we doing? And then 2027 Clay DuPont says, Have you ever snowboarded in North Star? Dude, I have so many North Star videos. I've gone to North Star a lot. And I've done a lot of North Star on the YouTube channel. So if you type in snowboarding North Star and then my name... You will 100% uh, see me ripping at North Star. Then Jordan said, aren't a lot of the ski resorts on the U.S. Forest Service land? So it's public land anyways. Yeah, Jordan, a lot of it is. I don't know if uh, the Broadmoor, because the Broadmoor Resort in uh, Colorado Springs is a huge resort. has a lot of money. And so I'm pretty sure they own that land. Um, Carlo says, yo, what up, everybody? How we doing, Carlo? And then Bobby's mom, so Roman's grandma says, I took a ski lesson on Pikes Peak when I was a teenager, and it was all ice, and I, uh, and that enough of skiing for me. <laughs> and that's enough of skiing for me. Jody, I didn't know you took a ski lesson on Pikes Peak? That's crazy. I didn't even know that was a thing. She's done more than me. She, she's done more than Bobby so far. Shut up. I'm going to help you. And then PG says, painting is easier is the easiest part. It's all the taping and setup that sucks. Dude, I, I just like paint. I'm, I'm really good at what's called cutting. My, my, my um, stepdad. Uh, was a painter, so I would help him paint when I was like 15, 16, and he taught me how to cut to where you don't have to put the tape. And like, he gave me, he, he was also like, he could paint mural. He's like so good at um, painting with his hand. And so I got pretty good at not taping. So I, I tend to not tape or do any pre work. What's up? 
Oh no, here, show her. Go show her. Ask her for help. Okay. Stoke Shredder says, how do you prevent injuries while doing park? Did you watch yesterday's video, Stoke Shredder, by the way? Because I talk about a lot about how I prevent injuries on that. I broke down to one of my crashes. Here. There you go. So I talked a lot about how I prevent injuries in that video, as well as I'm gonna make a how to slam video. I didn't think that one through. And then um, there's a couple of things. The more you snowboard and the more you fall, the more your body gets used to it. It's like a football player taking all those countless slams. And then um, there's a, like, yeah, like how you fall is super important. So learning how to actually fall on your snowboard. And then we got a Streamlabs donation. I missed it, Daddy, but I got it now. Money. Yeah, you dumped all the money on the floor. That was not cool. Can you pick it up? Can you put all the money back in the jar? No. Uh, D Wizzle, dude, thank you so much for the dollar donation on Streamlabs. He says, uh, do you uh, do you can't dry slope as a snowboarder, snowboard days for a season or n not since it's not real snow? Or I think he said, do you count snowboard, like do you count the snowflex days towards your season even though it's not real snow? I would say yes. I'm gonna count the snowflex days towards the season. What do you guys think? Yeah, if you strap, strap on your. If you, yeah, if you strap on your snowboard and you do snowboard tricks, that's snowboarding, dude. We're counting that, even though there's not real snow. Yeah. Bobby agrees, Daddy and Bobby doesn't even snowboard. Daddy wants Um. Mm. Peachy says, "Sup, you beautiful bastards." Been following Phil DeFranco since 2010. Daddy. Let's go, Peachy. That's when he started getting good and doing more news and stuff. The Phil DeFranco he talks about, about being like edgy and stuff, I followed him back then. Uh, Colby, what's up, man? Most fun place you've ever been boarding. Ooh, the most fun place? Uh, I think Hood, honestly. It's just so magical. It's such a unicorn, and you're there in the middle of the summer. Or Mammoth. Mammoth was so much fun. Uh, Stoke Shares says, No, nah, I still have to watch that one. I was studying all day yesterday, but I will check it out. Yeah, Stoke Dog, check that yesterday's video out. If you're interested in how to fall and out, how not to get to get broke off, check out yesterday's video. I kind of covered that in the whole video. What's up? Oh, you, you're doing it the wrong way. They go in like this. Ready? Oh, you also grabbed the bad. These ones are stuck together. Stuck? Yeah, go get other money. These ones are stuck. Uh, and you put them in this way. This way? Yep. Jordan says, sledding down a hill is sledding down a hill. It doesn't matter what you do it on. Let's go. Have you guys ever seen the grass snowboard videos I've done? I'm going to post another video in the chat for you guys to watch. I need to, uh -huh. I need to, uh, we're well, giving him that thing. Yeah. Yeah. That was a mistake. I'm not picking that change up. I will pick up the change, yeah. but I need to go, we need to go hill gliding. We should bring that down to Cara Springs and find a different hill to hill glide. You so, almost hit you since I keep doing the Ruby Hill one, I didn't hit you last time. Almost. No way. Check out that video right there, guys. That was a fun one. But it's it's grass snowboarding. It's pretty crazy. Uh, Abdel said, uh, only a few more months left until in Breck, January. Thanks for telling me about Christy Sports. I got all my gear. Let's go. I'm so that that worked out for you. Where can I get my pass as well if you can help me with that? Did you like buy day passes or, or are you buy like did you buy season pass or are you buying day passes? Because if you need to pick up day passes, you can buy them all over Breck. Every base of the mountain sells day passes. So that's pretty easy to find. Adventure, what up, dude? 
And then Imperial said, uh, yo, I'm a little late, but I'm here. What up, man? All right, I'm still down to do this live stream for a little longer, but I need you guys to talk to me. We're, we're caught up in the chat, which is like a rarity for me. I'm definitely not known for I keeping up with... Yeah, so. if, if I get off this live stream, Bobby's going to make me paint. I don't want to paint. We've already talked about how much I hate painting in this live stream. So give me some questions, guys. Keep up the chat going. We, we, we've died down. Oh, no way. We got another donation on Streamlabs from Lee. What up, Lee? Welcome to the chat. Haven't seen you yet. He says, what up, uh, dude? I've started donating money in fractions of r radians. I got some Google lessons in the mail. Oh, so uh, Lee's been keeping us up with his uh, goggle or his gear purchases for the season. So I got some goggle lenses in the mail. One is hella scratched, though. I'm a bit disappointed, but I'll go to the learn and lens repair. So that's good. So I'll go to learn about lens repair. I would, Lee, I would just send it back to them and be like, yo, guys, this lens is scratched. Like, send me a new one. Sorry about the lens being scratchy. That's a bummer. But thanks for the donation, dude. Stoked you got more gear coming. Come on, Daddy. What on, dude? What are doing the live stream? Did you put money through this yet? Go get some money. I'll show you how to do it. Go grab some money. Yeah, what do you watch? You grab the monies and you push it through like this. Whoa. Whoa. Go get more monies. I'll show you how to do it. Yeah. I hate painting. No, Austin, dude, I hate painting. I agree, dude. Oh. Evan says, what's your favorite mountain for trees? Honestly, I think Keystone has some pretty sick tree skiing. Uh, like, the windows are so fun. Um, Breck has some really good trees in some spots, but it mellows out pretty quick. Oh, Daddy. Here. Trying to think. Some of the... Daddy. Tell you right, trees are pretty tight, not gonna lie. Daddy, I'm tight. Alright, so you put it in. And then you push it down. Okay. Best trees would be... Oh, I'm trying to think. Vale. Vale has some really good trees. Austin says, uh, I can do the roller, <laughs> but the it. detail stuff, I think trim is kills me to add. See, Bobby does all the rolling stuff, like the major painting, and I do all the fine detail. That's why she money. said she's got some stuff for oh, me to do. Oh, that is some cute money. Right here. Yep, and then you push it down. Push it down. Let's make the lid tight. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then put the money in right there. Oh, I'm just up there. Push it down. Push it down. Like, like this. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Boom, like that. <laughs> oh, Peachy said he forgot about the grass snowboarding. Yeah, dude, I gotta go out and make that video again. It's so fun. Uh, Jordan said, if you were designing a resort, what would it in what would you include? I honestly want my own plot of land resort, something small. I would definitely want a section of like medium pitched groomers to practice like turns and stuff like a five turn line could be really sick but then i would honestly like two jump line like a, a two jump line would be perfect uh a solid down rail solid down flat down rail a solid flat down rail and probably a down donkey all rails that's all you need that's all i want oh and a wall like a, pr a perfect wall walls can either be terrible or good, but a perfect wall is a perfect. I mean, the, the, the perfect wall at the end. You said the perfectest wall. I know I said perfectest. BS says thank you for all the hard work. Appreciate your videos. Keep up the great work, dude. I'm so happy you appreciate the videos, and I cannot believe I'm still posting snowboard content. Like, it's so crazy to me. Been talking about all year. Right? It's figuring out how to post snowboard content year round. Yeah. We're figuring it out, that's for sure. Congratulations. Roman, Austin's kids say hi. Henry and Oliver, can you say hi? Hi. I don't know if you heard that. What does Bobby do for work, Peachy? Bobby is a full-time Roman watcher, as you can tell. A sticker designer. A sticker designer now. She's been helping out with the channel a lot on the back end. The channel got to a point where 
I couldn't travel and do all the stuff I'm doing if Bobby worked a job. So Bobby does not work a job. Also, with all the traveling I do, Bobby can't work because she has to watch Roman um, as well as just go with me. So Bobby doesn't work. Literally, because of you guys, I support myself, Bobby, and Roman all through this YouTube channel. So thank you so much for the, the donations. Like, literally, these donations you guys, guys give are a huge part, especially since the coronavirus kind of just crushed everything. Um, I don't want to get too much into that. But uh, the donations have been, been such a game changer um, through this whole pandemic and everything. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for all the love and support. Uh, Jordan says, I'd include a hot tub in mine. A hot tub on a ski resort? I've always wanted to do that, honestly. Breck has a hot tub, like, literally on the side of the resort, and I've always wanted to, to chill in it. Lee says, uh, you have a good point on returning the scratch lenses, but I've already decided to just repair it because it would cost a lot in shipping to return the sender's to the sender Leave a bad review, maybe. uh but fun figured out repairs dude lee that makes sense dude i would definitely i i get what you're saying about it. it's fun to kind of fix something or make it work totally do you hear what bobby said she said leave a bad review bobby will be such a savage on your on a review if you like mess something up she she does not hold back that dairy queen man Ooh, did you you left that review <laughs> yeah i left that review we had a Dairy Queen, and, and so in Hood, there's a Dairy Queen kind of right next to it. Roman was like, I want, you know, what you get at a Dairy Queen. We're like, okay. So we drive down there, and it closes at 8, and we showed up at 7.58. 7.57. 7.55. Five. Five minutes before it closed. And we're like there in front of the window, ready to order. And they literally make us wait, and they're not saying anything. We're being like, whatever, respectful. We just, we just thought they, they were like, quickly trying to make the last orders or whatever. We still thought we were going to be able to order. And they just turned the sign off on us. We were there five minutes before they closed. Oh. And then of course... It wasn't even for us. It was, and that's the thing. is the, the ICE... C-R-E-A-M... Was not even for us. It was for the, the one that wouldn't understand what just happened. Oh, it got, it got bad. Imperial says, uh, you just described my local resort when you designed your own resort let's go <laughs> uh, Austin says uh, they were yelling hi so loud my phone and I couldn't figure out why you were saying what you were saying back <laughs> that's funny Austin oh my do you prefer bo prefer boa or laces I prefer putting on boots that have boa but I like the feel of laces best I think I really do like the feel of laces all right, guys, we crushed the chat. I'm going to double check, make sure there's no donations that I missed. Because sometimes I do that, or sometimes it doesn't notify me. I think we're caught up on the donations. We're caught up on the chat. Thank you so much for all the donations tonight, guys. Don't forget, there's a bunch of new merch available. Oh, we got to answer Taylor's question. We have to answer Taylor's. I, uh, man, I hope you complained about the Dairy Queen thing. When I used to work at McDonald's for four years... We would always get in so much crap for closing before 10. That's what I'm saying. Like, I get it being 10. I get, like, me showing up five minutes before you close and you being like, hey, we can't, we, can't, we can't make any more food. We can't do any of this. But you make ice cream. Like, that's not, it's like making a drink. It's not hard at all. All right. Uh, and I, hey, Taylor, I worked at McDonald's too before, by the way. Back hey, in, you did. Back in the day, dude, I was... I'm, I would make some good food. Um, I still like McDonald's, but we haven't eaten. We haven't eaten out in forever, and I haven't had an energy drink in a long time. All right, guys. Bunch of new merch available. The pandemic masks, if you want one, it's this logo on the face. Imagine like this. It's going to be sick, as well as all the hoodies, T-shirts, everything. The black and white, white on black hats, like the hat that I'm wearing right now, is about to be available. Also, beanies um, and other stuff. It's almost available. Fanny packs. Fanny packs. Uh, backpacks, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, don't forget, you can get evolution stickers as well. If you didn't watch this live, but you wanted it, and you made it all the way to this point, one, you're a legend. Thank you so much. But if you wanted to drop a donation, not live, uh, the pinned comments um, or in the description, it has my Venmo as well as my Streamlabs. You can donate to any of those. Thank you to you guys that have been doing that. That's so insane. I appreciate it so much. Uh, and we were on a walk yesterday. Yeah, we were on a walk, and I was like, no way. Jonathan made the day. 
Uh, so as always, guys, thank you so. That's a cough drop. You don't want to eat that. Uh, and as thank you so much, guys, for watching the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep you bobbing. We'll see you guys tomorrow with a pretty sick video coming. I'm excited for this one that's gonna post tomorrow. Watch it.